Hey everybody, this is the CRKT produced Ruger LCK. Uh, it's a knife that came out in 2018, and uh, uh, I guess they came out with a limited amount of them uh, uh, to great fanfare. A lot of people loved this particular version of it. They also have a drop point version uh, with a silver blade, uh, uncoated blade. But uh, this knife was uh, greatly vaunted by by a, a large uh, circuit of the online reviewers. They loved this knife, and then it disappeared for a while. So I always uh, kept it in my inbox, not my inbox, my um, my wish list or whatever, uh, what have you, on Amazon. And uh, one day it presented itself with a price change, and I was like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Let's get it. And I'm really glad I did. It's a super cool little budget knife. Um, it's just a great little knife in general. Uh, but uh, as you see, it's got a three and a quarter inch blade. Um, it's uh, 8CR13 MOV. It's got this uh, sort of, what do you call that? Uh, Warren Cliff style blade, I guess, with a nice uh, finger choil and uh, tasteful marking. I've always thought the Ruger logo was super cool, so it's nice to see on a blade. CRKT's new ish in the last couple of years logo is. Uh, understated and nice and then on the back it says LCK I, I'm, I'm assuming that's a play on the LC9 and their other uh, gun models Matthew Lurch designed uh, this knife came really really fantastically sharp and as you know 8CR13 MOV takes a fantastic edge and uh, you know stays sharp for as long as you would expect a cheap but good steel to uh, to say st stay strong and uh, this knife is a nice little performer. You know, it's got a hollow ground blade. You know, even though the blade isn't that broad, it's hollow ground uh, nicely, so it comes to quite a thin edge, and uh, it slices pretty nicely, I gotta say. The action is nice. It's on, uh, let's see if we can see that. Uh, well, it doesn't matter. Take my word for it. It's on phosphor bronze washers, which uh, gives it a great, great action and uh, a great sense of solidity. Um, this thing is, uh, you know, got a fiber reinforced, fiber reinforced, fiberglass reinforced, an FRN handle. Geez, I'm like uh, Elmer Fudd here. It's got a, it's got a, a GRN handle here. So it could tend towards the cheap feeling, but uh, it's so solid that uh, it feels actually quite, quite, like quite a nice knife. Geez, that was that was difficult to get out. Okay, so the steel liners are unlightened, unskeletonized, unmolested, whatever you want to say, and so there's a, a little bit of weight to that, but that also adds in making this thing feel solid and not like it's kind of cheap plasticky knife. And now, since we're on the handle, I gotta say this ribbing texture here looks like something you'd see on the flooring of a ship or something, spaceship. Anyway, this is very grippy and very nice. I really uh, like this side texturing on this GRN handle. Um, it really keeps the knife in place. And you know, uh, like a lot of great knives, it has a neutral handle. Uh, so it's like a stick and our hands were evolved to hold sticks and throw spears and that kind of thing. So uh, they're quite at home wrapped around this, but you add this uh, little bit of texture and and this small little finger groove and it ensures it's going to stay in place and then you got this little flipper here so if you were ever stupid enough to thrust with this super oblique tip uh, you wouldn't run up onto the handle you have a guard something stopping you there of course if you're going to do your fine work I, I still don't know what that is but if you're going to do fine close-up work you can choke up here in that nice choil now my fingers are kind of skinny slender if you have big sausage fingers, they might run up here onto the blade and that might cause you a little distress or discomfort or bleeding, but um, for my fingers, it works well. Well, not that you would ever really put this in the reverse grip, uh, but it feels good like that. Uh, it's got this really nice, kind of cheap, kind of thin, but totally doable deep carry pocket clip, which is only for the right hand side. And uh, it's got this backspacer, it's basic, you know, it's your basic liner lock. And, uh, but they just hit it out of the park with this one for some reason. 
Now let me show you. Uh, let me show you it with a couple of other knives that are kind of in its realm, if you will. Or anyway, I put them in the same drawer. We got the real steel metamorph, kind of the same slender type package. This one's pointier. Uh, here it is with the rake, or the how do you yeah rake P eight hundred one SF. Similar size, similar price. Oh, this is a good comparison here. Here it is with the the Rake P865, I believe. So again, a nice slender package, and you have a, a, a <clears throat> downward <clears throat> descending point. I don't tell. You have a sort of worn cliffy point there. This one obviously is much pointier. Uh, but uh, pretty much zero belly, uh, kind of the same setup, um, similar price. This one just a bit bigger. These others, uh, this one has a uh, has washers on the pivot also, so is uh, similar to this in that regard. Great action, great price. Totally doable steel, 8CR13 MOV, even though I turn my nose up at it like everyone else does. Uh, that's kind of ridiculous. It's a it's a fine steel for what you would buy this for, i put it that way. Plus, it's so nice to strop it 10 times and have it back to razor. Back to razor. Really nice handle. Good action. Not much more for me to say about this. But uh, it is the CRKT uh, made Ruger LCK in reverse tanto, I guess they're calling this. You could call it a Warren Cliff, you could call it a Sheep Cliff. It's hard to photograph because it's black. Anyway, I highly recommend it. It's a great, great budget option. All right, y'all, take care.